Hello guys, so I just wanted to let you know, before we started the video, I think, I'm literally recording a clip after the video I did, and I'm gonna join this one first, uh, the, you know, for this to show first, and then the actual tutorial is gonna be afterwards, but I forgot to give a special shout out to you guys, thank you so much, and the fact that, um, you guys has been helping me out a lot, and I'm gonna point out why I was happy. Um, but thank you guys so much, and I forgot to address in this video. Shout out to ICCCE523. I'm glad me and him really worked out. Uh, you know, so it didn't seem like I was stealing his ideas or anything. But anyways, guys, you know what? Thank you so much for helping me out. Thank you so much for subscribing. And you know what? I'm glad to do this for you guys, you know, because you guys really deserve it. So I'm just going to go ahead and. What? No. Okay, that was unexpected. But I'm going to go ahead and start the video now. You'll totally hear the difference uh, between me right now and the me who was tired in the morning. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to another video. If you guys are asking why I sound so tired, look at the time at the bottom screen. I am literally just recording at this time to get this video over with. So, um, I'd like to congratulate y'all because... I took a look I took another look at my um video that I was gonna do that explains everything to my fifth attempt to record yeah <laughs> and 14 likes 14 you guys are really killing it it it's just telling me that you guys want are actually pumped up for this series so you know what I'm gonna go ahead and provide it so we're gonna go back to the actual video but thank you so much guys for hitting 14 likes and it's gonna keep on going up in this video I, well in that video but I hope we get some in this video too so the first thing you want to do is well this video is gonna be installing toolkit and then just covering some essential points before yeah I just end this video so the first thing that you're going to do is go to this link I'll have it in the description or the comment section for you and um, you're just gonna go over here to clone or download and download zip now since I already downloaded the zip uh, yeah it, so it's going to appear in downloads move that from downloads to documents and the name is going to be this thing right here so after you move it from downloads to documents once it's done and I mean downloading I'm sorry I'm so tired you could go ahead and right click it click extract all and then just go ahead and click extract this is optional but I'm gonna just leave it off since I already extracted it I'm gonna click cancel a new folder should appear with the same name go into it and start the RR toolkit windows batch file not the regular file not the icon not the configuration settings and I apologize for anything that's going on here just the Windows batch file so it's gonna start up like this it should take a while to load since you just uh, yeah install it on your computer and it should bring up a menu like this so here's what you guys are gonna do for step one it says select rigs of rods installation directory so you're gonna select RR folder now notice Windows 7 users I'm going to computer and then Windows C 
but for the Windows 10 users, eight, like 8 and 10, you should have something called this PC. And uh, yeah, you should go to this PC. Correct me if I'm doing it wrong. This PC program files x86, and then go to your rigs rods folder from there. Double click it, and then click OK. But for Windows 7 users, you're gonna go to Computer Windows C Program Files. You're going to click. Well, I'm using 39.3. Uh, you can try it on 4.6 or 4.7, but I rather no 37.126. <laughs> I'm sorry, but hey, you do you. Like whatever works for you, then yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna I'm just gonna click the uh, rigs and rods folder once and then I'm gonna click OK so step one is completed then step two is select our, our home directory to use so basically this is just gonna pull up the list of folders it, it might show rigs and rods 4.7 oh, 0.4 excuse me on your computer go ahead and click that but I'm gonna be clicking clicking rigs of rods now this part, um, it's all up to you, but uh, I recommend DirectX 9, but if it doesn't work for you, then go to OpenGL, but I'll be using DirectX 9. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start RR Toolkit, and then it's going to give me a whole lot of this. Y you can see that a whole lot of it says Error. Do not panic because this is normal when starting up the toolkit. I, I can't give you the full explanation why, but it's normal when starting up toolkit. So do not freak out when this starts to load up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then I want to unpause it when this thing is done. And there you go. This is how it should like when, look like when you start up. And there you have it. That's how you install Toolkit just that quick. Before I go ahead and end this video, uh, I know you guys are going to be trying a whole lot of stuff. So as soon as you load up Toolkit, double click Terrains. And as don't mind these names, it's just a whole lot of maps I'm editing. And um, you're going to right click the map that you want to edit or you could just left click it first and then right click it and then select edit and terrain editor now please note that you will not that some map parts uh, will crash you such as Neo Quartaro Auto Pista QR will crash you so I recommend going in the terrain section which should be I'll show you in a second so you go to your terrains, Neo Quirotaro, where you at? Well, I'm going to use this one. You search up terrain, or turn, I'm sorry, turn. Now, obviously all these turn files are showing up, but, um, you know, it should only be one in there. So then you're going to look up Auto Pista. You are, or just look up Auto Pista. Now it says I cannot find it, but because I already removed it, but it'll show up in yours. You just go to the line where it says Auto Pista QR, and then just put this. Oh, I can't press it because that will end my recording. But um, a semicolon would do it. Um, I'm sorry, I have this keybind shortcut on this. Let me see if I can change it really quick in Bandicam. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, okay, that works. So you will put this right in front of it. Toolkit will go ahead and ignore it, and you know, you're on your way. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. So just be advised, some terrains like Westerbridge won't load um, because, you know, it's something in a terrain because, you know, I, I, I can't explain to you, but it just can't load well for me. And 
that Neoqueer Taro object, that autopista I showed you, if you're going to edit that, just make sure you put that semicolon in front of that thing. So now we got like a one and a half minutes in this video, so I'm just going to show you the basics. You right click and drag to look around, WASD to move, shift to move any faster. I'm going to use one of these rows. So if nothing is on you, if nothing is on your terrain, then double click objects, scroll all the way down to road. Oh, these, these are the stuff that you can put in. So then just right. Uh, I, forget, I literally forgot how to do it, but basically you can just click this place objects with a middle mouse button you, if you have a mouse you know how you scroll up and down you can just do that click it click the click it actually search for it and there you go uh, I'm gonna cover the basics of these access in a minute and it looks like I'm gonna have to join two videos together because I'm not gonna make a separate video all right, so welcome. Uh, well, I have Bandicam, the free version, so I'm just gonna connect these two videos together. Um, I'm just only gonna give you some to start you up. The second episode will be covering everything. So, this access means to move it either up or down. This from side to side, left to right. I mean, and this one is north to south or forward to back this red axis means that you can rotate it along this axis this you can rotate it around this axis and this blue thing means you can just rotate it through this axis So yeah, that's just the basis of the axes. Uh, if you play around with them in toolkit, um, you know, you'll you'll get used to them. So, oh, I just deleted that. So if if you spawn something that you don't want in there, so let's say I spawn this. Uh, oh, in the side note, toolkit won't save as you go. You'll just have to click that save button uh, whenever you feel comfortable for. And, yeah so let's say I wanted to delete uh, this road oh let's say I wanted to delete this road you just click on it with the left click and hit the delete button on your keypad <laughs> keypad what am I saying and yeah um, if you want to spawn anything just I'm gonna go ahead and say let's spawn a uh, triple lane road. So if there's an object already in terrain, I recommend using these roads. You can go ahead, click that, and press space to spawn it. Then you should be able to do that. You should be able to rotate it like so, and then set it like it is. However, if you want your rotation to be real, like actual precise, then take note. Um, y on your keypad or uh, I'm sorry, keyboard will rotate at 90 degrees like so on around the Y axis. Z will rotate it around this axis exactly 90 degrees and last but not least the X rotation axis does this rotation so if you're a modder in any form of way and you know your X Y's and Z's rotations then X Y and Z on your keypad can help you so um, yeah just letting you know also, 
before I leave this before I exit this video note that some things will not spawn for you and some things will crash you I don't know if it's only on mines but do not spawn this or else it's gonna crash you well if it doesn't crash you then go ahead and spawn it but it does on mine some other objects will be unable to load such as bridge uh, O2 it does say our, our toolkit cannot handle this object now I don't know how to fix this or uh, how this error even occurs but yeah some some of them will just say that and you know just continue to experiment as you go the more you experiment the more you'll be able to learn and you know that's about the end of this video um if i if i um i'm so sorry for it if i'm saying um a whole lot of times it's just that you know i can't quite decipher it all together i'm just trying to do this and get it over with so um if you have any questions or if I confused you, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be gladly uh, able to help out. And, you know, this is just a updated version of Shining Force District. Um, a trailer, almost. Yeah, I'm just basically building up these things really quick. This is going to be the college section along with a few houses here that's going to be part this whole thing's going to be part of this college campus so should have a wall around this area we're going to get a new and updated lot shout out to michael's gaming hd for the his hard work it might be in the next video or the next one after that and i'm pretty sure you already know that this is the middle school this is going to be the elementary school and that's going to be the high school so thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you like and subscribe if you're new. Once again, if I, sub if I confuse you in any form or type, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be gladly to help you out or somebody else. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.